Hey, good morning everybody. It is 7 o'clock in the morning and we're just getting finished getting ready to head off on our tour to Chichen Itza. So, beautiful morning out here. The skies are pretty clear though there's some clouds kind of in both directions. But we're just getting ready to head out now. Okay, so we have made a rest stop. Come out and people can stretch their legs, and there's also restrooms for people to use. So we're probably about halfway, or maybe not quite, to Chichen Itza. So we have we got on the uh, tour this morning. They picked us up in a small bus or a small van, and then took us to a central meeting place where we met everybody else to get on the big bus. It's it's a pretty big bus kind of stretching our legs here had to cross a pretty busy uh, street to get over to the restrooms actually not a busy street but actually a pretty busy highway to get to the restrooms I guess it's not too busy but cars aren't going real slow but yeah so that's it the bus is pretty comfortable not too bad it's pretty well air conditioned so that's definitely a good sign so we're gonna be getting back on here it's about a 10 minute stop so we'll be getting back on here shortly to head the rest of the way Made a stop in the city of Valladolid. Valladolid. I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, we made a stop. We got 20 minutes to kind of get out, walk around, take some pictures of the city. We're in the main central square, just outside of a big church here. So I kind of just check things out. Seems like a pretty interesting place. So we're here in the uh, city square, just kind of beautiful day, nice and sunny. I wish I had my sunglasses with me. Just came from the church there a few minutes ago, and our driver was actually telling us that the stones for that church were basically taken from, taken from the uh, Mayan temples. Basically when the uh, conquistadors came, the church at the time basically had them tear down their temples and they built the new ones is what basically what is the churches today so that's kind of interesting to know gonna kind of just walk around here a little bit more and then I go then I have to go catch back up with the bus there's a bird roosting in that uh, that street light up there
We stopped for lunch and we're in the uh, Mayan cooperative here. You can shop. They have all kinds of stuff, hand crafts. So we're gonna, but we're gonna be eating lunch here shortly. just had lunch actually it was quite good we were expecting we weren't sure what to expect but it was actually pretty delicious they had pretty much unlimited tacos I must have had like five or six tacos so it was actually a really delicious lunch so the next stop after we're both made a pit stop here in the Banos is Chichen Itza so we'll see you there so where are we at we are at Chichen Itza we made it to Chichen Itza we're kind of watching where our group is but we really haven't uh, we're really not keeping up. We've been here once before. So, not sure what that is. Interesting. But we made it to Chichen Itza. It's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like seven hours, six and a half hours just to get here because they stop everywhere along the way. Like, I mean, lunch took an hour. But it kind of cuts into our time here. We got about two hours here total. With, uh, the Castillo, the uh, Mayan temple here at Chichen Itza. This is really a all the tour groups stand and clap, 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 and hear the echo from the uh, top of the temple. So, it's starting to get pretty hot. And that one guy's doing a pretty good job just on his own, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You can hear the echo up, up top. I don't know if when they built that was actually planned. Maybe it was just a, a dumb luck thing. Maybe it just worked out that way the way it was built. Here we are and it's pretty impressive. You definitely have to admit that it took a lot of ingenuity, effort and intelligence to build something like this. It's kind of amazing that they were able to do it in the era that they did without power tools, knives, even steel. So it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. I know that I definitely would not want to walk up that because, or down for that matter, because it would definitely uh, be a long tumble if you uh, missed a step. So the main annoying thing about Chichen Itza is all the vendors around the outside. They're always trying to get your attention. Always wanting you to buy something. Always stopping you. Always asking if you want something. Always asking if you buy something. Asking you how much you'll give them. And that's kind of the one disappointing thing about this place. But the rest of it is actually pretty impressive. We're still walking around here. We haven't haven't even come close to seeing anything yet, just the uh, the main temple. But we're going to we're going to walk back here and take a look at some other things. We found shade. It's extremely hot out in the uh, sun even though it's only like what 81 degrees, 82 degrees. But there's no breeze, of course. I just said it was 83. And in the sun it's extremely hot, but in the shade it's like, it's probably like a difference of like 15 degrees between yeah. the sun and the shade, so. Yep. Pretty impressive though. Amazing thing about those columns over there that we were just looking at is they're all in perfect alignment in each direction. Uh, straight down lengthways, and then if you look from the other angle, and then even at a diagonal they're in perfect alignment.
tour group very early and we ran into a few other people who did too so we're not the only ones that <laughs> that, that's the uh, tour guide and the tour group to walk around on our own and uh, yeah we've got maybe about another half hour total here but we're gonna actually head for the exit here shortly so we can get back to the to the bus and then go to the cenote I was planning on swimming but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because I forgot an Missy forgot to get me a towel. Oh my God. Missy forgot to get me a towel, so I might have to miss the cenote. Of course, I could just swim in the air dry, but I don't know if that would, how that would work. So, or they may have towels there, but I highly doubt that. Last stop for the day, we're at the cenote. You can see the cenote kind of behind me. I'm going to take a walk down through there. I'm not going to swim. It was kind of the plan initially, but then I changed my mind at the last minute. We're short on time for the day. It's getting late, and I didn't want to get wet and have to dry off. So we're going to head down there and uh, take some video, take some photos from down in the cenote from their little viewing platform down there. Here we go. So it's quite interesting down here. Uh, it's actually a lot cooler than it is up uh, top up there. But uh, yeah, have a little waterfall behind me and the pool of water down below. So kind of interesting. It'd be nice to just jump in, but I don't think I'll do it. I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the If I'd save you, if you were crazy enough to take a swim, a swim, I'd try, I'd try to make you see that my shoulder is ready for you to lean on. So why, oh why do you still flee when you know that you are If you want to swim in the cenote, you need to first, what is it, pay a dollar or 15 pesos for a light jacket and take a shower before you can get in the cenote. So just a tip if you're interested in swimming here. Okay, so we're back on the bus. Just waiting a few minutes for everybody to get back on board. And then it looks like they're going to head on out back to Cancun. It's been a long day. We were up at quarter after six. It's now quarter after six p.m. So we've been up for 12 hours. And it's probably at least another two and a half before we get back to the resort. Tonight, I think it's just gonna be Duna Sports Bar for dinner. And we got to pack up for tomorrow. We uh, have to check out by 10 p. or we have to check out by 10 a.m. So we're probably gonna do most of our packing tonight, and then just the last few things tomorrow morning. Then it's off to home. So long day tomorrow. We leave the resort at 12 noon, a little afternoon. So we made it back from Chichen Itza. We're back. We're going to go now. We're going down, down to Duna. That's probably a better way to do it. There we go. We're going to Duna for dinner. It's easier than uh, trying to go across the street. Tonight, so Duna is the sports bar here at the Minimar.
so they were around and someone walked down with them. Jess, they have a pretty good view of every Christian. You order. I ordered a um, chicken penne with a tequila alfredo sauce. It's supposed to come with shrimp, but I said I don't want shrimp, so I got chicken and I added mushrooms. And then we're going to share an order of potato skins. And I got some squirt pop, which I'm not real big on. It's kind of like Alka Seltzer Plus. Yeah, kind of. Kind of tastes almost like a, uh, almost like a, um, airborne. Airborne. A little bit like an airborne. It's not the greatest soda in the world. Should have just got a Pepsi. Oh well. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. They give you a uh, total appetizer of green salsa or a green avocado sauce and salsa with some chips. Sorry. We'll try it out. We got, it's got avocados and I think it's got tomatillos in it as well. I think it's tomatillos. Pretty good. It's not spicy, she said. I like the uh, habanero sauce I put on my uh, tacos earlier today. <laughs> I did tell the guy, I'm like, uh, I was like, uh, you told us that that was that, that the green sauce was avocado, or that, that the green sauce was uh, guacamole. And he's like, oh no 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 no, it's not guacamole. <laughs> he got the joke. So we're gonna try out these potato skins. They look really good, don't they? They look kind of cheesy. I'm not a huge potato skin fan, so we'll see what it's like. And then he has this white cream cheese on it. Yeah. Ask for cream cheese or Probably just mozzarella. Mm, it's hot. It's actually really good. Good, good, good. Get the potato skins. Thumbs up. So I got the, uh, I'm not sure if it, exactly sure what it's called. Spaghetti with chicken. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I'll put, I'll put the name of it down below and the name of Mrs. down below as well. But uh, it looks really good. Try it out here. How was yours taste? It's really good. This is really good. A little bit of garlic in there too. Hey, good morning everybody. It is finally checkout day. Tuesday morning. And it's about 20 till 10. We have to be checked out of the room by 10 o'clock. So it's finally checkout day. Time to head home to the bitter cold of Ohio. Well, anyway, we'll be uh, heading down here to the lobby to check out. But we have about two hours. We have to wait for our shuttle or our airport transfer to come pick us up. It doesn't pick us up until about noon, so I'm just going to just hang out there, chill in the lobby, maybe sit outside for a little bit, but the trip is coming to an end, so the next place we'll probably see is down in the lobby. So we're now all checked out, just waiting on our shuttle, but two more hours, so we're going to be waiting in the lobby for a little while, and then we'll be catching our transfers back to the airport.
So we're in Cancun Airport. Are you ready to go home? We're kind of ready to go home. So, waiting here for them to start boarding, which should start in about 15 minutes. Very unorthodox procedure here. I'm not sure I get it. Atlanta waiting for our flight which isn't gonna leave for another almost two and a half hours so we're just waiting here we've got uh, a cheesesteak at uh, we've got a cheesesteak at Charlie's was it good did you like it it was good it was good we got a cheesesteak and a uh, uh, ultimate cheese fries so we split it yeah we split it so it's a little bit cheaper than normal <laughs> it's 20 bucks instead of 30 bucks We are definitely back in Columbus. Missy is very cold. It's like what, about 32 degrees, 34 degrees here right now? And I have a t-shirt on. So we're just waiting for our shuttle to pick us up and take us to the hotel where we left our car. Mm -hmm. 